Welcome to another episode of The Quick Fix, where I show you some kind of jerry-rigged ways to get around issues with setups that you may have. This one does actually involve buying a product if this suits your needs. So some context, I'm working on a project involving an ancient Windows 98 computer that my aunt gave me. I'm restoring it, cleaned it up a lot, added some new parts, and I'm trying to get it set up so I can run some retro games on it. But it only has VGA output. So if I want to do anything involving recording via a capture card or anything like that, I don't really have anything that has VGA input. Well, I'm going to attempt to use this Saiba USA VGA to HDMI converter. And I think this will help you as well. The general concept is that it takes power from USB and then it takes audio via the 3.5 millimeter jack and then it takes your VGA signal, has a little microcomputer in the converter box and then spits out an HDMI signal. Now there should only really be one thing in this box here so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up in front of you. Just a cheap little unboxing. We have, yep, the cable and a user's manual. So I will set that aside. Now, I have not tested this yet. I'm gonna test it before the video is finished. Um, but generally, Saiba USA or Siba, Saiba USA products that I've used have actually been pretty good. However, it's always funny looking at the boxes because that then makes me kind of unsure of whether or not it'll work because they have weird things like just kind of weird typos in their box wording. And then for example, it says before using PLS for please. Please make sure, which is like internet speak, but not something you normally want on your product box. I don't know. But it's supposed to support HDCP, HDMI compliant, obviously, with the HDMI standards and goes up to 1080p. So here is the cable itself. It has VGA female adapter on one end, a USB for power connection, and a 3.5 millimeter jack on the other end. And then it has the converter box, which shows whether or not the video signal is power is active and whether or not there's power running to it from the USB port. And then it has the HDMI port, which you run to whatever you need HDMI for. Now, this is a lot easier than trying to use powered converters that require external boxes or going through 50 million different cables. This is a short little thing which just plugs in the back of your computer and then you act like this is your normal graphics card output. Now one issue I'm going to specifically run into regarding the Windows 98 computer I'm using is that it only has two USB ports and because they're only like USB 1 because it was a Windows 98 computer, USB wasn't a big thing quite just yet when this computer was produced. So I'm probably going to use some sort of other power source for the USB so that way I can still get the power from it but not use up my one of my two USB ports on the computer. One thing that the user manual does mention, the user manual is basically everything that the back of the box says, but one thing it does mention is that the USB power must be able to sustain a 500 milliamp hour, or just milliamp connection to power the device. And so I'll have to double check and make sure this USB port on the older computer will handle it. So I'm gonna hook it up and give it a go and we'll see what happens. And it works! I hooked up the computer to my TV through the adapter and then discovered that I don't think the secondary graphics card I bought for it is actually compatible. But when I replace the original graphics card, it actually shows up on my TV just fine. And TVs are a lot more difficult to work with in terms of format. So that is a very, very good sign. Now I had to disable some of the over scan features on my TV to get it to show the full picture because it was like blown up way past the TV, but it works and it looks really good so if you're looking for a way to display old school vga formats from older computers that only have vga available on a hdmi compatible device this device is for you and even on this 20 something year old computer or 15 something year old computer the usb port was enough to power it the only issue where you might run into those issues is a low power laptop i hope you enjoyed this episode of quick fix guys just wanted to show you a way to hook up this because it's something that i'm figuring out and that's when i make the best attempt at making these kinds of videos let me know what other ideas you'd like to see me to come up with quick fix solutions for in the comment section down below be sure to comment like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video